Right, so today we are at a classic car show in Ripon, um, here with the Rover 200. So I thought, you know what, let's have a gander around, see what we can find, see what sparks our interest, and uh, yeah. Um, a lot of this will be just an unedited footage, because uh, I'm not going to go through a 30 minute video and start having to edit stuff out. I'll be honest, I can't be bothered. But anyway, yeah, so we've got a nice Rover. Um, I think this is a P3 or a P2, isn't it? I can't tell. Rover 75, there you go. Very nice. nice. Um, well, let's have a look around here. It's quite a big display today, so this might be a two part video, so we'll see. Right, so I just had to <laughs> delete a load of videos off my phone just to make sure that I had enough storage. So we've got a nice Triumph GT6 in, it looks to be um, British Racing Green, very nice. A uh, few, well, there's a few Triumph Stags here actually, uh, but there's a white one here in particular. Lovely old Vauxhall here. I'm not going to go into too much detail into each one because it's way too many cars to get through but some very nice ones indeed there's also just loads on this side as well they're just everywhere today we'll have a look on this side there's a few Fords Volkswagen Ford Escort Ford Cortina <laughs> Another Ford, lots of Fords. Volvo, very nice. Sorry for any wind noise that's going on. There's a, a wide range of cars here today. Got stuff like that to modern stuff. Um, minis, Anglias, Miners, Triumph, another GT6, another uh, Vitesse Mark II, GB, GT. Uh, what do we have over here? MG. TVR, Honda Civic, there you go. Fun fact about the Honda Civic is that these V-shaped ones have the same door handle as the Rover 225 and, you know, hot Rovers from that era. Uh, got a Ford. Very nice colour as well, that actually. Some stags, lots of stags here today. Very windy as well, actually. Oh, Typical, when I start recording, it gets windy. Uh, Austin Maestro, well, actually, no, it'll be just a Maestro. Um, Clubman, I believe it is. Maestro Clubman. I always like the look, to, I always like the look of these. I don't think there's any uh, Ma uh, Montegos here today, though, unfortunately. There you go, you've got a Cosworth. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not really into these type of cars, but they're nice anyway. Got a Capri, more Stags, there's quite a lot of Stags today. Triumph 2500. Wolseley, MGs. There's all sorts here today. Absolutely all sorts. It'll be impossible to go through every single car. There's a lot, I mean, I don't know what that is. Um, it's a kit car of some sort. Porsche, Ford, Cortina Estate. Now look at this. Oh, this is nice, look at that. Very nice indeed. There you go, look at that. Mini Sprite. A souped up Jaguar. Interesting. 
TVR. Hey, oh, look at this. What do we have here? Rover. Now, I'm not sure if this is a 220 turbo. I mean, it does have the power bulge in it. So it might be a 220 turbo. I don't think it is, though. Very nice condition, though, that. Look at that. It's immaculate, that. Very lovely. It's even got the, uh, oh, it's like you see the deal stickers in the window. That's very nice. Still need to get one for mine actually. Uh, two CVs. A few two CVs about. A Ford. And green. There's quite a few Fords here today. Wolseley. good turnout today actually really surprised I thought it would have been a, a more quiet but it isn't it's, it's actually really nice today the weather's a bit overcast but yeah, it's all right at least it isn't raining then we're all good MGTF next to an MGB GT rich racing green again Anglias very nice got a few Anglia is here actually. And we'll come on to the Land Rovers. Very nice Land Rovers indeed. Shout out to Mad Ford Engineering who is actually he's doing some Land Rover stuff at the minute. Which is very interesting. He likes his Land Rovers. So I'm sure this will interest him in some way. There's quite a few here actually. Very nice indeed. Some Chevrolets there as well. But look at this. I think this is all original, you know. Very nice. Small Land Rovers. Very cool indeed. <laughs> Small Land Rovers, there's quite a few actually today. Actually, I think this is probably the last one. There we go. Ah, very nice. You know what? I, I do like a good Land Rover. MGB, you know, Triumphs, and yeah, you know, it's, it's nice to see other stuff about as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful uh, turnout today. Got a few old ones here. Look at this. Triumph TF4A. Spitfire. Here we go, we've got some engine footage here. Look at that. Wonderful, that. A few, there's a Riley there. He's got the Sierra XR4i, three door, three door, very nice. Some of 
to have him in there. What do we have over here? Lovely example. Brilliant that. I always like a good Maestro, especially the MG versions. There really is quite a lot of. Um, oh, actually, that was in Austin. Seven, I think it is. Yeah, Austin Seven. Nice. Some modern there. Let's have a gander over here. Let's see what we've got over here. Okay. I've got a mini. I don't actually see many minis here, to be honest. Uh, MGB Roadster Mini. Idea. I've got no idea. There's a Corvette there. Porsche. What is this? What on earth? Is it, is it just something caught my eye here? Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I, I, I'm sure I've seen this around somewhere before, you know. That's a very nice example there. Don't look at that. We've got a Rover 800. One of the last ones on an hour plate. Well, did run to V Reg, but this is on an R plate. Really nice example. And next to a another Rover, which I believe is is it a two thousand? I think it might be a two thousand. Yes, it is. It's a two thousand BMW. A Renault. It is a Renault. Hmm. Screen that's mint, but look at that. <laughs> Very cool indeed. I always like stuff like this. I like that a lot. <laughs> it's brilliant. How would you look at this? I think this is the only metro that's here. Some rally, rally style metro. On a W plate, so launch year, but I believe, yeah, launch year. Morris 10, very nice. Uh, Anglia, quite a lot of Anglias, I know. Oh, it's an Austin Healy Sprite. I thought it was a uh, cheap budget for a minute, but never mind. I can imagine the owner's getting quite annoyed at people saying, Oh, is it an MG midget? No, it's an Austin Healy Sprite. American car next to it. Uh, I mean, I like, they're alright. I mean, they're not my style. However, but then again, we all like our own different type of car. So, yeah, some American stuff there for you guys who like American stuff. <laughs> 
to have a little wander around over here. There's a lot more stuff. There's absolutely tons and tons of cars today. Spy 80. That's worth a bit. Hillman. Right. Let's see what we've got over here then. TR6. Oh no, is it? Yeah, it's a TR6. Never mind. Oh, see, that looks a bit different. It's the indicators on it. Different place. Chevrolet. Oh, it's a, a, a mini Mark. I see many of them. It's very interesting. It's an MGA. Another TR6. Bentley's. Fiat 500s. Yeah. Triumph 2500. Very nice colour as well. I do like British. Is it? I'm sure it's British Racing Green. I'm sure it is. Another Capri. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Uh, different doors on the three door. I think it was just uh, same as the five door. So yeah, it's a rich level for you. Something American. Another Ford. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. Rover Coupe. I believe this is a 216. Just something different. That's an hundred A. Rover P6. This is another 2000. Shows a V8 somewhere on the other side of the field. Cheers. Thank you. I know the Vauxhall did have quite a lot of American inspiration on cars in the 60s and whatnot. So 
so uh, kind of yeah it's huge I'm, I'm surprised i haven't actually ever seen one of them that is huge very nice cars in the overflow section. Um, let's have a look actually, we'll have a look, we won't miss it out. We'll have a look. Let's see what there is, I mean, we've already got a Mini. Mr. Bean to the end. I'm sure he's uh, enjoying Stuffed inside there, we're not boiling day. <laughs> Another TR6 Lancia. So yeah, this is just basically where the overflow is and where people with normal cars tend to park as well. Along with this Mexico here, look at this. I don't know if it's a replica or if it's a genuine. Cheers! There we go, from V8. A very nice number plate as well. I'm not sure what the colour is. Uh, what is the colour? I'm not sure. Maybe Damson Red? I'm not, I, honest to God, I don't know. I'm not too good with colours on the older cars, to be honest. Uh, Golf GTI. There's just some modern cars over here, but there's a few. Ooh, ooh, we've got some coming up. That's very nice indeed. More American stuff, Land Rover as well. Another Ford Fiesta. Pepperpot wheels, very nice. This, this is what I'm, hey, this is what we're talking about. Triumph for claim. Oh, look at that, that's wonderful. I've always wanted one of these. Brilliant. There's not many left of them either. It's a CD as well, top of the spec. It's brilliant. Twenty-four thousand miles. Wow, that's incredible. There's definitely not a lot of them left. I think they look awesome. Smoke sabs. Let's see what we've got down here. We're coming up to the end. Another Ford, Alfa Romeo. What do we have here? The Hillman Hunter. Very nice. And there's another Ford Sierra three door there. I think. That's about it. There's some more uh, cars over here. Actually, we'll go see what this is. Looks like a Granada. Sure it is. If not, then 
I deserve telling off. Or is it Scorpio? It's a Scorpio. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this one. <laughs> Scorpio. Yeah. Thanks to a lovely old Mercedes and a BMW. But yeah, there we go. I think that's about it today. It's uh, been an, a, a great show, and yeah, so hopefully we'll see some more shows in the future there's definitely a few coming up that i'm off to so yeah um thanks for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video